Okay, we're going to do some solar cell soldering to make your own solar panel. We have some uh, solar cells from eBay. And I bought these from Everbright Solar. What you want to do is uh, first turn your soldering iron on. Get that going. This particular soldering iron heats up pretty quick. And we'll do our ever bright solar uh, flex pan here make sure it's primed and we'll just do a quick coating here on the surface you plan on soldering to you can't really solder these cells without these flux pens because it just will not stick and you take your soldering iron here. I got a little bit of a beveled tip. So I'm just going to go ahead and clean that up. Go ahead and tin it. And here, I'll set that down for a second. I'll make sure you have your tabbing wire. Make sure it's nice and straight. Otherwise you'll be fighting the uh, tabbing wire the whole way. So just get it lined up so I can see that's a little crooked there so we'll see if we can try to straighten that. And that looks okay. where you want it. I'll take my soldering iron and kind of tack one in on there just to get it on there. That way you can work with it. And then I'll start down a little bit further down. That way so one end sticks on there it won't come away or separate from the solar cell. done. And then I'll come back up here and knock off any excess soldering from uh, starting that, that end. Always keep your tip clean. Soldering iron tip that is. And we'll do the next one here. Same deal. Make sure your tabbing wire is nice and straight otherwise you'll be fighting it kind of get it right where you want it and then just tack that end there's one end and then I'll just kind of come down a little bit But there's one cell all tabbed and ready to, to solder to the back end of another cell. So it'll go from the top to the bottom. So it'll solder the back. The next layer will be to the back of the cell. But you'll want to do all these first and get a whole bunch of these made. And then when you're ready, you just flip them over and you'll put them all together. Alright, once you get the solar cells tabbed you can go ahead and start lining them up. So the front is negative, back is positive. So we're going to go uh, negative to positive, negative to positive. So just start lining them up. I'm going to do three courses of four in my solar panel that's just enough to get me enough voltage and amperage to run my iPhone charger and yeah we'll do this one here okay, now we're ready to 
Get our solder flux pin. And we'll just do them all because we're going to blitz this right out. And we'll just go ahead and make sure everything's aligned so it all looks good when you put it on your solar panel. So we'll go right here. Feel it slide. Looks like that's a little long, and I don't want them shorting out, so we'll trim that. Let's do that real quick. Start again. Sometimes it's good to run the iron the full length of the cell only because it helps keep it straight. Now I'll try to pull this up without breaking them. If I had a little better jig, it might, might minimize damage to the cells. But let's see what we can do here. So you can watch me break them in case I do. And there's one setup right there. There's one soldered uh, run. So we'll do two more of these and then we'll solder them all together. Okay, we got the uh, solar cells all together and we'll just check the voltage. So I'll set that right there. Hopefully you can read the numbers and you can. Let's see, let's go. Oh. Hopefully you can read that. And we'll just go right over here. And right here. And we got 5.74 volts. And that's just off of this light. If we go over here, we got 1.92, 3.79, 3 3.8. And then 5.74. So that's not too bad with just a light shining on it.